Corey, thanks so much for joining us. I know it must be emotional for you and all of Randall's friends. I know you've been checking in on his health. What's the latest on his condition right now? Um, it was the last I'd heard, he's been in surgery most of the day. Um, I, I know they stopped bleeding for the most part yesterday, and they went back in today to basically make sure everything was good, but I still haven't heard anything after that. Hmm. You've known Randall most of your lives. Tell us about him. What kind of guy is he? Well, I mean, he's a he's an outgoing guy. He's he's a fun guy. He's I mean, he's he's somebody that you'd want to be around. I mean, I remember growing up, we played sports together for a long time, and he was we were always spending time together. He was always the guy that's kind of leading the pack. And I mean, now he's he's got three daughters. He's married. He's got a career he's working on and he's, he's really a family man now. When you heard that your friend had been hurt in these shootings, what was the first thought that ran through your mind? Um, I mean, disbelief, really. Um, I mean, I just talked to him a few days ago. We had we'd been planning a trip to go to a, a Titans game in Nashville in a couple months. So it just I mean, it doesn't seem real, to be honest with you doesn't seem real. I think a lot of people in the city right now, a lot of people involved with the military there feel the same way. It just doesn't seem real. You said you were planning a trip to go see the Titans together. You're still planning on going? Yeah, I mean, hopefully I mean, everything goes good and he'll be up and ready to go. And yeah, we can still do that for sure. A family member told CNN that, that Randall was shot three times, that he saw the shooter and what he was trying to do was warn everyone to get out, to get to safety. He was trying to help. Does that sound like the Randall you know? Yeah, I mean, definitely. He wouldn't be somebody that would, that would try to hide if he knew he could help somebody else. That'd be the first thing he'd want to do. Now, I know you haven't had a chance to talk to him yet personally. Is, is there a message you would like to send to him if you could right now? I mean, the only, the only thing I can think of is that I mean, we all love you. We all want you to get better. We all know you're going to pull through. I mean, you're a fighter, and we got we got a lot of plans to we got a lot of plans to finish. I know he was awake at one point. He gave a thumbs up to family members, even squeezed his wife's hand. That's got to be reason for some optimism, yes? Yeah, I mean, you would think so. I know he just had been through a lot of surgery and. I mean, and for everything I hear, if you're conscious enough to be able to, to know people are there, that's always a good sign. So we're, we're hoping that's just the first of, of a lot of good signs. All right, Corey. Corey Scholl, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, everyone.